counting is usually the first experience we have of number. We begin by learning that when counting, number words are said in order. One, two, three, four, etc. When we get to ten, we have to learn new number names that have no relation to our previous learning, such as eleven, twelve, etc. When we get to twenty, this becomes a little simpler. We have to learn the new word twenty, but then we simply add numbers one to nine. We then need to understand that one number is said for each object when counting. Five Bs. One, two, three, four, five. This progresses to form an understanding that we count to find out how many there are in a group. One, two, three, four. Four ants. The next stage in counting is the idea that a quantity can be represented by different things. So five can be represented by five similar objects, by five different objects, by five invisible things, five ideas, or by five points on a line. We also need to understand that we can count a set of objects from any starting point and notice that the quantity does not change. Five ladybirds. One, two, three. Four, five. Now, if I start counting from the middle, I still count five. One, two, three, four, five. So when I count again, starting with a different ladybird, there are still five ladybirds. One, two, three, four, five.